Already today, friends, you know, it was kind of on the breezy side. We are already starting to feel some of those wind gusts, and here's a look at some of those peak gusts already today across southwest Florida. Lehigh, Palmdale, Arcadia, Punta Gorda, Cape Coral all registered a peak gust of 31 miles per hour, 29 mile per hour gust in Immokalee. I know the tarps in my neighborhood certainly hanging on, and that's going to be a big concern as we head through the next couple of days, especially tomorrow evening as those winds start to pick up and we start to see some of those gusts. 40, possibly up to 50 miles per hour. Thankfully, though, we will not be dealing with the brunt of the storm. Regardless, however, typically something like this, we wouldn't even bat an eye. But because of what we've already gone through and because of all of the debris that's still out there, any impact is not welcome at all. So notice a very broad system right here. Tropical storm force winds extending hundreds of miles from the center of Nicole. And even that, obviously, very broad, very lopsided. So Sustained winds of 65 miles per hour, gust to 75. It is strengthening. It is forecast to become a hurricane by tomorrow morning. So we want to take a closer look at that wind field, that wind threshold, and what we can expect when. So for us here in southwest Florida, it's going to be a lower, lower end, right here in yellow, lower end, tropical storm force winds. That's what we can expect starting first in our interior communities right here around 12 noon, then overspreading southwest Florida heading into tomorrow evening as well as tomorrow night. So again, notice this yellow, by the way, basically affecting the entire state. Again, the wind field from this system is just huge. However, where those stronger winds are here in orange, the stronger tropical storm force winds, and then right here in red, that's where the hurricane force winds are. Those will really be restricted along the east coast and then unfortunately moving into central Florida. But as of right now, those stronger winds expected to stay out of southwest Florida. So as of right now, by lunchtime on Thursday, our winds here improving big time as that storm then curves off toward the north. In fact, unfortunately, then affecting Georgia as well as South Carolina. So here are our current warnings in effect right here in red tropical storm warnings in effect for glades as well as Hendry. This is where we have the highest likelihood of dealing with tropical storm force winds. DeSoto, Charlotte, Sarasota, Lee, all under tropical storm watches, meaning obviously we need to be prepared for that potential. So through the day tomorrow, those winds will be picking up. So today was breezy. Tomorrow will be gusty see those winds picking up even more so heading into tomorrow night, but do expect gusts tomorrow 35 to 36 miles per hour. As for our impacts, we could also see one to three inches of rainfall. Most of that rain farther toward the north. As for the storm surge, not worried about that. Thank goodness, not worried about that at all. And also your threat for tornadoes will stay limited as well. So heading into tomorrow, we will be facing that potential for those showers to begin to build in. Tomorrow's what I call kind of a squally day. So just a heads up there, on and off downpours expected through the day on Wednesday and then continuing into your Thursday. And then by Thursday afternoon, those showers start to lift off toward the north. So your seven day forecast looks like this. Rain, wind, especially tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, into Thursday and then for your Friday could have a couple of lingering showers in the morning. Otherwise, much drier air builds in over the weekend.